Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Today, we have an engineering autopsy for you. I have a variety of food boxes right in front of me, and boxes are really important to us. Think about it. When you go into a food store, there are aisles and aisles of boxes, and there's a lot of thinking and design that have gone into these boxes, and that's what we're going to take a closer look at today. So I have five different boxes in front of me, and each of these boxes open and close in a different way. And somebody designed them to open and close just the way they do. Let's start by zooming in on the cereal box. So we've zoomed in on the top of the cereal box. You can see they come closed, and when we open them, we can see that the flaps are actually glued down with little dabs of glue. Not too much to keep it from tearing when I open. Now I want to look at the two long flaps and I can see that there's a contour to this flap. It dips in and this upper flap has a contour too. Why is that contour there? Why are those curves there? So that after I've opened it, I can tuck the tabs in and I should have a closed cereal box. So now I can easily open and close the cereal box again and again and again to keep the cereal fresh inside. So now let's zoom in and take a closer look at this box to see if it's similar and different from the cereal box. So when we take a closer look at this box, I can see the tab in the upper flap, but there's no cutout in the bottom flap. It actually has a little slit. If we look carefully, I can see it right there. So how does this work? Well very similar. I have to push the tab into the slot and it stays together. So now let's take a closer look at this box. This box you'll see is very similar. This flap, instead of having a, a square or rectangular tab, it actually has a curved tab and it has a slot as well and it closes by the curved tab going into the slot. So all three of these boxes are similar in that they all have flaps that overlap and hold together. Well, let's take a look at something different. With this box, you can see I have these little flaps right here and a lid that opens and closes. And watch how this works. I push it down and the lid stays shut, but how does that work? Well, we need to zoom in and take a closer look. So we've zoomed in so you can see these two flaps right here and I want you to watch what happens as I close the lid. I'm going to bring the lid up and push and if you look in between the lid flap you should be able to see those two little flaps pressing out holding that lid closed using something from science. Those two tabs they're holding the lid in place because of friction and friction is a force. Now the last box we're going to look at is kind of a mix of all the other boxes we've seen. I can see a tab, a cutout on the upper flap, but when I press this together, it slides in. It also uses friction to keep the box closed. It's really amazing to realize all the thinking and design that goes into a simple box opening and closing. So I wonder if we can come up with our own design if we can think it through and come up with our own way of making a box open and close by using these as examples to, some, to start with. So to make this design challenge work, I just cut the flaps off of a box and I took cardstock, which is just a little thicker than paper. I have a scissors, a pencil, and some tape, and now I can design a whole bunch of different openings for my box. And it'll look something like this. So using these tools and measuring carefully, I was able to make my own opening for this box. I made a little sleeve that fits over the box that I can tape in place and test to see how it opens and closes. So let's see how my design works. You can see I went with a similar flat method, but I made mine much more curved and I have a nice slot. And let's see if I fold this down, tuck the tab in, I made my own opening to the cereal box. Here's another type of design that I made for my cereal box and look at how differently this one looks compared to the other one. I put slots in all three of my flaps and I have a larger tab that hopefully will interlock them all. So let's slide the sleeve over the box, 
tape it into place and see how it opens and closes. One side, two sides, and now I can flip, flip, flip it closed, take my tab, slide it into place, and I have a new opening to my cereal box. It's so simple, yet I can challenge myself to come up with new and different designs just by thinking and testing something out. So if you take a closer look at my flaps, you're going to realize I didn't just grab a pencil and start scribbling. I had to think of a design in my head and then carefully measure with a ruler to make sure everything fits and lines up so that when I fold my three flaps, the slots line up. I couldn't just do that by guessing. I had to measure and take my time. And that's a big part. Measuring, taking my time, testing, that's all a big part in engineering. So the next time you're reaching for a box of cereal, you pour yourself a bowl, why don't you spend those five or 10 minutes during breakfast to think about if you can design and create a new way to open and close that cereal box, and who knows, maybe even try and make your own. That is really cool science. In fact, if you do make your own design, we'd love to see it. So send us a picture of Fun Science Demos. If you want to learn more about some engineering ideas that you can try on your own, check out our playlist. Science is so cool, and it really is all around us. Thanks for watching.